Hi, my name's Jade. I'm one of the doctors Hi. on the ward. Can I check your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, of course. So it's Yvonne, Yvonne Hart, and it's 3rd of May, 1968. Okay, great. And why is it that you've come into hospital? Oh, yeah. Goodness knows why, but actually, blame my husband. That's all. Blame my husband, but no idea why I'm here. But the sooner I get out, the better, because I have got things to do. Okay, so how have you been feeling recently? I have been feeling absolutely fantastic. Never felt as good. In fact, it's the best I've felt, I would say, the best I've felt in my entire life. Yep, feeling great. Okay, how would you say you feel normally? <sighs> well, to be honest, you know, phew, I've had so many times where I've just been down in the dumps, miserable as miserable can be, depressed, fed up with life, but not now. I have just got things to do, so many ideas, so many inventions to share. Oh, yeah, so uh, I don't know why I ever felt like that, ever. Anyway, but no, this is me. This is okay. me. And how have you been sleeping recently? Oh, don't need sleep. I've got so much energy. But I think it's because I've got like all these ideas and oh, they're just swimming around. And no, don't need to sleep. And I think I look rather good, actually, even without any sleep. Yeah, don't need sleep. Okay. And how have you been eating? How's your appetite been? Well, I haven't got time to eat. No desire to eat, haven't got time to eat. You know, I want to use all of my time to write, to, you know, try and get these patents, and oh my goodness me, just so many things to do, yeah. Okay, so what is it that you've been so busy with recently? <gasps> well, let me tell you. Okay, so, so, I mean, I want to be quite modest about it, but, um, well, I've got inventions, and um, inventions for loads of things, because I have been <sighs> blessed from royalty itself to actually share and all these inventions. But actually, I think my husband is rather jealous about that fact. That's why I think he's put me here. But uh, the best thing I've got at the moment is my cure for cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how did you develop that? How did I? Well, it just came to me. It just okay. came to me. I was just walking around and I don't want to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do trust you, but actually, I tell you, I don't trust. There are certain people who I am pretty certain have gone off with all of that information in my suitcase because I can't find it. But, okay. yeah, uh -huh. so, uh, well, cure for cancer, leave it to me. I mean, they'll have interviews. I'll probably have to sign autographs. And once, God love her, the late queen herself, he is, well, she'll be so impressed that I've done the job she gave me to do. Okay, and how, you said that the, the Queen has asked mm -hmm. you to do this. God rest um, her soul, yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you know that she'd, she'd wanted you to do this? Well, because, because, well, we can communicate, but not just the late Queen herself, mm -hmm. but Charles. I mean, Charles has always been mm -hmm. a very clever man, hasn't he? So they have given me these special powers. They have chosen me, okay. oh, the special powers, to come up with all these inventions, and I'm doing them proud, as I say. Cancer is my top one. Okay. You've been speaking very quickly. Do you feel like your thoughts are racing at all? I do, I do. I've got so many. I've got so many. I'm thinking about cancer, and then it's like how you can go to the moon quicker than the speed of light. That's another one of my inventions. I'm, I've just got these ideas, just, whoa, yeah, so many, so many, so many. Okay. Do you feel like any of your thoughts are being put in your head by somebody else? No, not at all. No, or have you ever felt like somebody's taking away thoughts from you? No, not at all. And then sometimes some people feel worried that maybe their thoughts are being broadcast aloud to people in the room. Is that something you've experienced? No, never, never. But I tell you what, I cannot wait until my ideas and all of my inventions are broadcast on the television. I'll be standing there, all in the light, signing autographs. I'll invite you along. Oh, thank you. And these ideas that you mentioned, mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you're hearing things that other people... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, or seeing things that other people might have seen. No, 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 Any kind of... Tell you what, though, I wish I could see that suitcase because it was next to my bed when I came in. It's no longer there. I mean, I don't know if you could have maybe a word with somebody because, honestly, if anyone gets to see all of those inventions, and I have been trying to get patents, but, you know... 
at the moment they're not sealed and signed, obviously they will, but as soon as someone gets that suitcase and gets all those inventions into information, well, they're going to profit from it, aren't they? And so I need to find it. I don't know if you could help, help with that. Could you? Okay, we can try and Thank see. You. Thank you. And what would you do if someone had... Um, you know, been involved in this suitcase going missing? Well, I'd, I'd have strong words. I'd have strong words. Yes, I mean, I'm not a violent person, yeah. but I would certainly give them a piece of my mind. I mean, okay. you know, and not only would I give them a piece of mm -hmm. my mind, I'm certain the royal family, once they hear that they've okay. taken my inventions, that they have bestowed this power upon me to do, well, they'll be have, they'll probably have them well sent to the tower, the dungeon, who knows, who knows? Okay. But no, 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 I, I wouldn't... I. I wouldn't cause them any harm, but I would certainly have a strong piece piece um, of my mind toward them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have you had any thoughts of wanting to harm anyone? Oh, no, 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 okay. no. I mean, <laughs> of course I would never do anything like that. No, not at all. I'm a very peaceful person. No, I would never do that. Never done that. Wouldn't, wouldn't hurt a fly. No. Okay. And uh, how have you been managing to look after yourself with all this going on? Well, I mean... <laughs> Trying to be modest, I think I look great. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not sleeping, don't need it, still look good. Mm -hmm. But obviously I have to take care of my appearance. And, uh, well, between you and I, I've had many a, many a man on this ward um, paying attention to me. Yeah, and also when I'm out and about. So, um, yeah, I, I, I look good, I look good, and I feel good, if I don't mind saying myself, yeah. Okay, have you done anything unusual that you wouldn't normally do, like taking any risks that you wouldn't normally take? Uh, well, look, look, look. Speak to my husband, he will tell you that I've been taking risks, but okay. honestly, I have not at all. Okay, I was in a rush, I was in a rush to get to that patent office because I knew they would be so super keen to hear about all my inventions, so yes, I did speed a little bit, and you know what he's done, he's taken away my keys, taken away my keys, okay. how am I going to get the patent office now? How am I? How am I? So, you know, you might say that's risky behaviour, but no, I'm invincible, I've got to get there, get it done, so many things to do. Okay. And do you feel like there's any other possible explanation other than the royal family giving you these special powers for the way you've been feeling and what you've been doing recently? Well, no, I mean, I, they, you know, not everyone is chosen by the royal family. I do appreciate it is an amazing honour, but no, I mean, obviously, it's my destiny, and I have been given these powers of exceptional intelligence, you know, and I think actually that's why my husband has actually locked up my keys, you know, I think he's just jealous. I think once he knows I get more out into the world, well, people will want me, they'll want to be with me, you know, I'll rise to even more power than I am now, and I, I think he's just jealous, I think he's jealous. Okay. Do you think there's any chance you could be mistaken about these special powers? Oh, absolutely not. No, no. I know that I am the chosen one. Yeah, I know. I, it, yeah. Oh, I know it's me. Yeah. Okay. And now there's just a few questions that we ask everybody when they come into hospital. Of course, yeah. Um, so do you drink alcohol at all? No, not at all. No. And have you ever taken any recreational drugs? Never, never, never. No, okay. With everything that's been going on, have you ever had any thoughts of wanting to harm yourself? Absolutely not. Oh, why would I want to harm myself? The world needs me. I have so much to give. All my ideas, my inventions, my cure for cancer. I need to be here. And then just some more questions mm -hmm. we just need to ask everyone. So are you able to tell me what time it is at the moment, roughly? Um, I think it's about three o'clock, yeah. Okay, what day of the week? Uh, Monday. Yeah, mm -hmm. do you know what year it is? Oh, yeah, 2023. <laughs> okay, great. And do you know where you are right now? I do know where I am. I'm in a hospital and I shouldn't be here. I should be out. I've got things to do. I've got my inventions to pursue and to show people. Okay, and can you remember <sighs> who I am? You're the lovely doctor, yes. Okay, and... Again, is there any chance that maybe these powers and these thoughts that you've been having maybe aren't related to the powers and they might be a sign that you're not very well? Absolutely not. I am the chosen one. That's just the way it is. Thank you very much for speaking to me. It's okay. My consultant will be around shortly to have a chat with you about what we'll be doing going forward. Is that all alright with you? Well, tell them to get here quickly and get me home. I've got so many things to do. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome.
Today I assessed Yvonne, a 54-year-old lady who had been admitted to the psychiatric ward with concerns about her mental state. On examination, report was easily established and she engaged well with the review. She was well kept and animated with frequent hand gestures. Her speech was rapid at times with increased volume. Yvonne described her mood as absolutely fantastic and objectively this was elevated. There was evidence of reduced sleep, reduced appetite and increased energy levels. She denied thoughts of harming herself but there was some potential risk-taking behaviour with regards to driving too fast. She denied any thoughts of wanting to harm others besides having strong words if they were to interfere with her belongings. Yvonne agreed that her thoughts were racing and there were some examples of flight of ideas. She described grandiose delusional beliefs that she had been chosen by the royal family to become an inventor and had found a cure for cancer. She also described an exaggerated self-confidence, exceptional intelligence and invincibility. She denied auditory hallucinations but did mention being able to communicate with the royal family. Yvonne was orientated to time, place and person. She appeared to lack insight into her symptoms being related to a deterioration of her mental health. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 500 OSCE stations and put your OSCE skills to the test. You can practice with friends, create your own study group or team up with another member of the Geeky Medics community with our OSCE Match feature. Sign up today to access our selection of free OSCE stations.